Greetings everyone. Banu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 7th December 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has directed the central government to get updated information from the states on the number of migrant workers registered with the e-portal e-shram. The court has held that the deceased's income tax return can be considered for computation of his annual income in motor accident compensation claim cases. The court has held that Section 23 of Senior Citizens Act will be attracted only if the transfer of property by a senior citizen was subject to a condition of providing the basic amenities and basic physical needs to him or her. The court, while setting aside a direction issued by the Bombay High Court to the state to give 72 hours notice to an accused in the event it intends to arrest him, has stated that such a direction could not have been issued by the High Court and is manifestly incorrect in law. The Chief Justice of India, Dr. D.Y. Chandrachud, made an important announcement of the launch of Supreme Court Mobile App 2.0. He stated that the app provides a facility that all law officers can have real-time access to cases. Government departments can also check pendency of their cases. News highlights from the High Courts, starting with the Madras High Court. Two division benches at Madras High Court, Madurai Bench, has disposed of 8,612 cases between September 5 and December 2 this year, as reported by the Ministry of Law and Justice. The Madras High Court has directed the state to revamp the archaic Madras Medical Registration Act 1914 after it was brought to the court's notice that the old act was still being used by the Tamil Nadu Medical Council to conduct its elections and appoint office bearers. News highlights from the Calcutta High Court. The Calcutta High Court has held that a magistrate neither has the power to try nor commit cases involving UAPA and therefore once the addition of offences under UAPA is made to the FIR, the same would denude the magistrate of the power to remand an accused beyond 30 days. The High Court has held that under the Companies Act 2013, civil courts have the jurisdiction to inquire into allegations of fraud pertaining to the title of issued shares. News highlights from other High Courts in the country. The Delhi High Court has directed the Centre to suspend infringing websites accused of defrauding people by taking money under the pretext of recruiting them at Tata-owned Chroma, the electronics retail store chain. The Bombay High Court has ordered the Maharashtra Public Services Commission from issuing appointment letters for engineers under the reserved economically weaker section category till the issue of diverting SEBC candidates to EWS is settled. The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that as corollary to the restoration of a writ petition dismissed in default, all orders passed would automatically get revived and restored to the original position. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.